As y'all saw from the thumbnail, today this video is going to be basically about losing yourself in a relationship or in a marriage. I'm coming from the point of view of a marriage. However, this advice can translate to both, either or. Have you ever felt like you've lost yourself in a relationship? Now, keep in mind, yeah, we're going to do this while I'm doing my makeup, okay? So, if you want to go grab your makeup, pause the video right now, go grab your stuff, come on back. You ain't going to miss nothing if you pause it. And then we'll go ahead and continue, okay? Do, 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 do. <laughs> yep. now, my first advice to myself is to learn how to enjoy myself. When I first got into my relationship, or before I got into my relationship, I would say with my husband, I enjoyed myself. I washed my car, I went to the movies, I hung out with my friends. I did a lot of stuff like all by myself that I really didn't notice I did by myself and I actually enjoyed it. But when I got in a relationship, all I wanted to do was hang out with my man, go to the movies with my man. Then I started to feel like everything was contingent upon him doing things with me to make me feel kind of whole, if that makes sense. Or like, I don't want to do it unless he wants to do it. I don't want to do it unless he wants to do it. I know that's, that is not it. And everybody doesn't feel that way. I get it. Okay. But that's just what I felt. I'm, this is my truth. So I'm giving it to you. Right. Is it right? Is it wrong? Who's to say? It's just how you feel. Right. Learn to sit at peace with yourself. I used to always tell my daughter, how can someone else make you happy if you don't know what makes you happy? If you don't know yourself. And I would say, what type of flower do you like? And she would go, hmm, I don't know. <laughs> and I was like, think about it, right? How do you want someone to buy you flowers or know if you even like freaking flowers and you don't know, like make it make sense. That would make no sense, right? So you have to get to know yourself first before you, you know, you try to let someone else in your space to please you or claim to please you. If you're a reader, honey, read. When I'm alone, that's basically what I do. What would you do if no one was around? If you were the last person on earth and God said you had to enjoy this day all alone, what is it that you're going to do with it by yourself? Think about that. Number two, self-care, honey. Self-care, self-care. We all have a definition of self-care. We all tend to think that self-care is mainly physical. You know, when you think self-care, tell me you didn't think just now that I was talking about pedicures, manicures, you know, showers, everything physical. But remember, self-care is mental care too, because in this day and age, this world, honey, honey, let me tell you something. We need a lot of mental self-care. Take mental breaks from social media because that's self-care. Just relax your mind. Stop your mind from going. Our mind is so used to being busy with work, with chores, with school, with life, and just things that self-care nowadays is more mental to me than it is physical. That concealer that I just used was the MAC concealer in the shade NW50. Put some more concealer on. I just don't feel like that was enough. Number three is to have a hobby. Clearly y'all know one of my hobbies is doing makeup and YouTube. Okay. It's a hobby now because I'm not being, not being paid for it, but I like makeup. I like doing other stuff too, but makeup is just one of them. That hobby keeps you mentally grounded and don't expect your person to want to do your hobby. Don't put that weight on their shoulders. Okay. And then remember you got your, your partner would be essentially your quote unquote best friend or person to talk to and be like, Hey, I have this exciting news from my hobby that I want to share with you because this is what makes me happy. And then you both can, you know, cross talk stories of the events that happen and then learn from each other. You know, maybe it might excite them because it's something that they don't know. Cause me and my, my husband do it all the time. I'm like, Hmm, he gets really excited about sports and I may pick up on like a name or something, you know, it ain't going to be nothing dramatic because basketball is not my thing, but he love his Pelicans. Not my thing, love, but that's his thing, right? You know, I may listen and I may not know a thing he's talking about. Selfish is not always bad because selfish, self care sometimes is selfish, but it's selfish in a good way because you do have to pull away in order to make sure you're mentally capable to help someone else. Because you can't always be give, 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 give. You, how do you fill up? How do you fill up? If you're always giving, how do you fill up? You don't run by solar power. 
you know, only God can continue to give, give, give. That's the only source I know that, you know, continues to give, 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 and don't give out, honey. So I just doubled down on my concealer and put that on twice because it just wasn't picking up as I wanted it to. Y'all see that? I wanna try this new powder, which is, this is nutmeg, but it still looks darker. Mm, uh -uh. I'm gonna stick with Laura Mercier. It looks, it looks too dark. We are not going there today. By the way, today is my husband's birthday. So when y'all see this, by the time y'all see this, it's gonna be after his birthday. I would do a video like this on his birthday, right? Y'all, I'm just all the way distracted today. All right, so in this, in this portion of the video, I had to do a voiceover because what I was saying right here was totally not what I wanted to say. What I wanted to say and what's in my notes to say is to date yourself. I know when you're young or when I was young, let me speak for myself, when I was young, I was I personally was not scared to to go out in public and do things alone. You know, air quotes date myself cuz back then I didn't even think of it as dating myself. I just thought of it as, well, you know, hey, I feel like doing this, so this is what I'm going to do. For me, that's what it was. I got a chance to understand what I liked. You know, if I wanted to go to the movies and I like to see scary movies back in the day, not now, back in the day scary movies were my thing. I went to the movies and I saw it. You know, I just got up and I went. I did things spontaneously, you know, and when I went to certain places, you know, I would go out to eat by myself. Being that independent allowed me to, you know, meet other people, you know, and I met young ladies in these different places that was out, you know, she was like, you know, I met her, she was like, I'm by myself too. And I was like, oh, cool. You know, bet, you know, then we just got to know one another and, you know, you just talk to people, you know, and he the same, you know, my husband is a talker, you know, when he goes out down, whatever the case may be, he'll meet anybody. He's not, there is not, there's not a person that's a stranger to him, which is something that I love about him. So when you date yourself while you're in a relationship once you know yourself and you know what triggers you and you know what bothers you you can better assess yourself so that you don't take out your issues or past past hurts and things like that on someone else another thing another thing that dating yourself does is it gives you more confidence okay it gives you the right confidence to walk in this world. There, I can't, I can't stress that enough. Okay, we, we ooh, <laughs> that's that's one of them things that I just love. I love to see a very confident young woman that's just walking in her purpose and knows what it is that she's supposed to be doing. It's it's just it's beautiful. Okay, and so when you know that you're capable of doing what it is that you're supposed to do because you know your weaknesses, you know your strengths, you know what makes you happy, you know every button that needs to be pushed to make you go because you've sat with yourself, like I said, the first very first tip, long enough that now when you go out and you, you know, date yourself, you already know, like, it's this is too easy. Like, bro, there's nothing you really can tell me because I know me, this is me. Dating yourself gives you a sense of confidence, okay? It gives you a sense of confidence that no one can take away from you. So date yourself. Don't be afraid to date yourself. All right. Okay, so I tried something different with my makeup. I just put this. This is the Ben Nye Nutmeg Powder, and I used it to set my, my smile lines. I wanted to see if the color was going to be more natural looking or bright like the Laura Mercier. So this is the difference. Like, I don't know if y'all could tell. This is it, and this is it mixed with the... Laura Mercier. I didn't want to put it on my eyes because I still wanted it to be highlighted, but I did put it on my forehead. And I think it kind of just makes the makes it look more like my shade. Everything looks muted. I don't know if I like that. This is Grateful from Rare Beauty. Really like blends in well. I don't know if y'all could tell. See? It looked real red on camera, but in real life, especially once I put my setting powder and stuff all over it, it looks perfect. Like it doesn't look like it's too much. It looks like it's just enough. So this is what that setting powder looked like. Yeah, it just looks a little more natural than my Laura Mercier powder. Laura Mercier looks a little bit more highlighted, more, more bright. That one looks more like my skin tone. Like this part of the makeup right here, I'd be like, I get to this part and I'd be like, oh girl, you, you, you messed up. You made a mistake. Then I'd be like, keep going, just keep going, just keep going. By the end, it'd be like, oh yeah, you ain't make a mistake. It's right. Erin, I got on my cape, girl. You see, I got it on today. <laughs> y'all just gotta make sure y'all blend well, blend well, blend well. Now let me set my nose. 
you can see it right there see the difference so yeah one is more my color and one is just more of a highlight color oh that contour is so soft and smooth honey yes now i'm gonna go in with a bronzer remember when you're doing this you don't have to do both you can do the contour or you can do the bronzer i just like to do both because i like the way the bronzer looks now if it's one thing y'all know i love it is my micro smooth okay toffee is the color so if y'all want to get it get it if there's anything that i haven't showed y'all in this video so far as far as makeup goes y'all can always go back and look at my wine down with lee playlist i do have a bunch of videos on makeup that I go a little bit more in detail about what I'm using and all that kind of stuff. But this one isn't just necessarily geared towards makeup. It's more so geared towards this conversation, which let me get back to it, right? All right, y'all. So my fifth piece of advice is to learn to accept the mistakes that you've made in the past. We not perfect. It is what it is. My husband and I both got married very early to each other. <laughs> okay. And sometimes you just make mistakes. We, so basically when you make those mistakes, you get over those mistakes because you're learning one another, you're living with one another and you move on because we grow up. And what my mindset was when I was 23 is not the same mindset that I am now at 43, which I'm not 43, but you get what I'm saying. So you learn together, you grow together, you change together. So you also forgive yourself for whatever it was that you did in the past. I call that grace. <laughs> so in relationships, make sure you give yourself grace, but also give your partner grace as well. If you're in a current and a new relationship, remember that advice still holds true because they, they're trying to learn you. They're trying to get to know you. You're trying to get to know them. We're in this old cancel culture type sh and everybody's just ready to give up immediately you know ain't no more you know don't blame mr charlie because mr charlie is just the man and he's doing the best. i can't sing there's no more of that and the principles that hold on to that you know you wonder why certain there's like a break in generations because people just be like i'm out why are you out are you going to look for a person that is doing the same thing are you going to look for a person that's doing something different or is it you are you the problem make sure you look at yourself okay are you not a forgiving person i don't know i'm just asking the questions I, i'm not judging nobody because i personally i had some growing to do i was immature when i first got in my my marriage i was very immature i will say my husband was very mature for his age and he understood what he wanted and it was a good thing because Leandra no God understood what I needed though because he gave me who I needed to ground me sometimes at the stage in which you're at you don't get what you actually want you get what you need for the future so hold on to what's good for you Now, this next piece of advice that I have is, <laughs> ooh, trigger warning, y'all. If I start cussing, I'm so sorry. Ooh, it's the Aquarius to me. Number six, control your emotions in your relationship. Do not allow someone to pull you or pull a portion of you or pull that thing out of you in which you don't want to be pulled out of you. And what I mean by that is people that you love the most, they tend to be able to get under your skin. Yeah, I said it. They can get under your skin. If somebody tried to do something to me and I felt like they was trying to play me, I would get real mad real quick and it would show. I wore my emotions and I wore them heavy. That was the immature portion of me. Let me keep going. And some people have seen me in a manner that was unbecoming of myself. And I didn't want that to be seen, but it was. And that's just what it is. And I'm sure many of you have had this happen to you as well. Because you've lost yourself in that relationship with that person because you've given them so much control and power over how you and your emotions react if i can give you any advice on you know making sure you don't lose yourself and this is not about the other person this is not about that person winning it's not about that person having the upper hand and it's not about that person at all it is really just about you maintaining yourself 
and your self-dignity and your self-worth. This is all about self and not losing yourself. Once your mind is clear and the fog is gone from the rage, are you really still considering the words that you want to say? Are you really still feeling those emotions about that person in which you, you are in a relationship with and that you love or care about? 10 times out of 10, probably not. <laughs> so I want you to consider that when you are thinking about raising that uh, pan to that person's head, okay? <laughs> Don't do it. So what I put on my eyes, in case anybody wanna know, I use this, this right here, this color, this brown from this MAC palette. Again, that's gonna be on a previous video. Pretty much everything I'm using was on a previous video that I just put out. Um, I'll matter of fact, I'll link it right here. Only thing that wasn't, only thing that's not in the previous video is this Morphe palette right here. This is the 8R Morphe palette. And I just used that for my contour because I wanted it a little bit darker than what I had been using um, previously, which is the brown out of that palette I just showed you. And the Fenty Beauty. Yeah, this wasn't in here. That Ebony Matchstick from Fenty Beauty. Should I put on some light lashes or should I put on some big lashes? I'm going to put on some light lashes today. No, with all this mascara, I might want to put on some big lashes today. Remember, I told y'all this is a long video. What y'all think of these lashes? I think they're really cute. Now, these are my original, like, favorite lashes. I don't know if y'all seen any of my other videos. Let me show y'all the box. Hold on. These. They're the INVC Curl from, who is this, Kiss? I think it's Kiss. That was, that was such a blind moment. Now, I just said the brand was INV. Then I'm going to ask, is it Kiss? Girl. Get out of here. The is I envy, but it's the C curl. That's what these are. I used to, I bought these, so many of these, and it's because they just look so natural. Now I see why I like them. Like, I haven't put them on in a while because I had been wearing, like, the super fluffy ones that my daughter had put me on to. But I'm looking at myself over here, and I'm like, girl, we missed you. Hello. Where have you been? Yeah, I like them. I like them. I like them. But, um, okay, so y'all not here for my... <laughs> Let me spray this on. Yeah, that was my setting spray. Let me recap everything. So number one was make sure that you learn to enjoy yourself, spending time with yourself, right? Number two was self-care. Number three was to make sure you have a hobby outside of your relationship. Number four was it's okay to date. You make the date, okay? not date outside of your relationship okay number five was to learn to accept your mistakes from the past grace we're gonna call that one grace i'm changing the name of that one because that's basically what it is give yourself grace for the mistakes that you've made in the past so it doesn't control who you are in your current relationship and number six is to make sure that you control your emotions you control them don't lose yourself so much in your relationship that you allow the other person to control your emotion. Number seven is to make sure that you stay true to who you are. Remember when you walk into a relationship, you do have principles, you do have values, you do have things that, that you feel very stern and strong about. Don't bend those for that person because that's not what that person fell in love with when they saw you, met you, courted you, things of that nature that word again <laughs> but that's not what they fell in love with you know if they saw the ambitious motivated go-getter you know don't take no <laughs> type person that's what they want to see not when you get in a relationship with them seriously and your heart starts to get into it you begin to melt bend break at everything that they actually tell you i hope that makes sense i'm not going to expound on that one too much because it's pretty much straight to the point. Stay grounded to your principles. Listen, if y'all are vibing with the conversation that we are having right now, leave me some comments below because it's interaction. This is conversation. This is not, you know, just, just me talking to you guys. This is conversation. It's dialogue. I would love to hear what you guys have to say and share your opinion. Hold tight. Be right back. BRB. All right, y'all, this is my son. And look at this, okay? He does all of the music all of that. for my videos, okay? Mm -hmm. So when I be putting it up there and it be like sparking music. Yeah, you see That's it. That's my baby. You don't see it. You know so what I'm this is my son. 
Fried Sparking. So y'all go follow him on Instagram. Y'all go follow him on YouTube as well. Mm-hmm. All right. Don't he look just like me? <laughs> me and my twin, no. <laughs> That's my baby. <laughs> Come on, Crystal. Come on. You might as well bring it on in. You here now. You here now. This is his girlfriend, Crystal. Come on. She here now. She got to look. Come on. She, she trying to be shy. Come on. Come on. Bring it in. <laughs> She's trying to be shy. She done did her makeup. She look all cute. Look, she's trying to be so shy. But anyway. Oh, yeah, Ma, we gotta go to the store. Y'all gonna go to the store? Okay. Yeah, Back to our regularly scheduled. Um, matter of fact, I'm gonna tell him to give me a beat for this video. Listen, if y'all have stood around for this entire video, I truly appreciate it. That means you're definitely still a part of my tribe. I want y'all to actually sit down one day with me and try to do y'all makeup and show me some of y'all looks. Send me something on Instagram, send me something through email. Let me know what y'all doing out here in these makeup streets because a girl want to know if y'all are learning anything, picking up what I'm trying to put down. Even if it's just a little bit of something, let me know. If it's something that y'all want to learn or that I'm not doing, not teaching y'all, let me know. Everybody can do a little bit of something with makeup. Even if it's just putting on, you know, a little shade of foundation or mascara here or there. I hope you guys have a beautiful holiday and enjoy your family. Family is what's most important. That's all I got. Love y'all. Have a good one. See you in the next one. Bye.